Sinbad is in the Red Velvet Cake Studios. What up, Bad? <laughs> what up, man? I'm gonna this set up here. I'm gonna put in my living room. <laughs> it yes. is nice. Isn't yeah, it? man. It's gonna be my yeah. living room. <laughs> <laughs> what would your wife say about? No, that'd be this? the other house I live next door. I'm buying a house next door. So well, I can live next door. Oh, really? This, yeah. Is that the key to a successful There's marriage? a movement in America called Living Apart Together. People who, no. <laughs> I've heard of it. about 4,000 yeah. people. Yeah. I learned it from a real estate guy who accidentally, he had been, he'd been single to 45 years old. He had the house. He met the woman who lived down the street. They got married. And he just never sold his house. It became his office. He said, look, I just go home <laughs> and next door and watch my show. She said, you coming by the night? He goes, yeah. He would go home. And they never, all the friends were breaking up going like, that don't make no sense. But all of his friends were breaking up, but they didn't. I thought you got back we with are, your wife. 16 years. But now I need my own place. <laughs> so you're moving next door. Yeah, man. You know, think about it, man. When we got wow. back together, I kept my house. The reason I think we were able to get back together, mm-hmm. I kept my house for five years. So you go there when you don't feel like being bothered? Well, no. I have my, I have my drums there. I have my musical instruments there. Oh, yes. All the stuff that women hate so was at my place. So your man cave was your man my house. My man cave. My, my man, man used to cry at my house. Damn, man. It's a blessing. It's <laughs> <laughs> a blessing. You ain't got no room. You ain't got no garage. I said, I got the whole damn house. <laughs> my carpet, my furniture, my Mitch Mash stuff because I like it. <laughs> But how are, how can we trust that you're going to use it for just that? You can't trust a man do nothing at your own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so least, so think least, about it. It ain't yeah, about at least trust. I know. Like, no, you don't know. Your, your no, laundry, you don't know. No, you I'm don't. Doing your men are smarter now. I do my own damn life. I got tie balls. <laughs> <laughs> He's got tie balls. Man, please. I, I've been washing my clothes since I was a kid. It's four boys. Man, please. <laughs> That's genius. They man. make man spray now. You spray yourself so you don't smell like soap. It's just, just enough about funk. To say that. It's just enough funk like you was walking around during the day. They make they make cheating spray now. You're not too clean. You're not too clean. You're not too clean, but you're not too dirty. Cheating oh, spray. Yes. God. Cheating spray. Or you can just do the easy route and go home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which for you is next door. <laughs> yeah, next door because genius. You think about it. If you live next door, I got all my stuff there. I don't have to put stuff in storage. Mm-hmm. We always got stuff in storage. I go get get. I forgot I got stuff in storage because first your wife moved stuff to storage. She was like, well, it's been in storage for five years. Why are you keeping it? I'm right. Like, oh, that's how y'all get rid of our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You move it slowly out the house. Mm-hmm. You are so crazy. Sinbad. I think that's this actually girl. pretty genius. What's up, girl? This is what's happening. I'm, I'm good. excited about your show. Oh man, it's, it's, you know Real. what? This is gonna be. This is um, because I didn't, I didn't want to really come back and do a sitcom. I wanted to do because I know, you know, I was blessed to have done a Cosby Show, a different world. My show. I mean, I was mm-hmm. able to do something that I was trained by the best. You know yeah. how how do you be funny mm-hmm. and say something? Mm-hmm. How to be funny and say something, which is a hard art form. Right. And Rel's so, doing it. So and Lil Rel yes. has a has a show. Yes. And you play Lil Rel's daddy. Light skinned daddy. <laughs> yeah. Let's just put it out there. Let's put it, I'm, I'm his light skinned daddy. Box. Every That's every right. family has a it light skinned side right. and a right. dark skinned side. That's right, we do. That's right. We got every blonde hair, blue eyed babies with two chocolate parents. That's right. That's right. It could happen. <laughs> yep. It could right. happen. Especially on T V. And now so, this is, so he's divorced. Divorced mm-hmm. recently, no. Recently, wife divorced. cheated. Yeah, with no with, with the barber. Yeah, wife cheated That's with the, the barber, truth. man. Damn. That's the truth. He had man had, had man had them cheating fingers in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. Wow. And so he moves. Does he move back to Chicago or? How well, does, she goes in, in, she, in the, in she the leaves. show. She goes to Cleveland. Okay. She goes to Cleveland. Uh-huh. Of course. And you have Jess Chicago. hilarious in there. Yeah, Je- you know what, Jess. Jess is gonna be all right. You know, going from Instagram and this is new for her doing TV and and, and on camera and, mm-hmm. and she was so nervous at first. I said, "Girl, you're gonna be all right." Nice. She got she got skills. Nice. And you know that. I mean, yeah. you recognize it. She so got, she's a comic. Cool. We all have that that raw energy. Yeah. And then you learn how to control it and how to make it work. Yeah. And did so you have the audition for this? Uh, you know, I came in for. I said, "Look, man, I was running from it. They begged me to come in, begged me to come in. I said, dude, I don't want it.' And then I said, "Okay, I'll come in. I just because uh." uh Chase Anthony's a comedian on the road with me. Uh-huh. I was in Nashville, he's Tennessee. He's a cutie? I love oh Chase, my God, man. He's funny. I love Chase. And Gerard, Gerard Carmichael was calling me. He says, Look, man, just let me talk to you about it. So I give credit to Chase. Chase said, Man, just do the show. I said, All right. So I go in. I said, I go in and read for it. And Gerard is the executive producer yeah. of, of this show. And yeah. then, of course, Rail starred the on the on Carmichael show. show. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's Sunday night. Yes, yeah, so on Sunday night, right after football, this Sunday, 
it's, it's it's special right after after the football, and then on the thirties we go back. I think we followed the Simpsons, so it's cool. Awesome. On, on, on yeah. Fox at eight yeah. p.m. I'm very excited to see yeah. you back on TV. And it uh, they sh- they had a uh, preview of it at the uh, Tom Joyner Family Reunion. Oh, did this they? weekend? Yeah. Today's and, on Twitter. And, yeah, on Twitter today on the Fox Network. If you go to Twitter, you get a special preview, or you nice. just wait till Sunday. Well, it got a TV. great reaction, several showings, and people loved it. Well, you know what? We're missing it. It's a throwback. I call it a 90s throwback. When the, the heyday of black sitcoms, I, I think it's like a 90s throwback. Oh, and all I gosh. ask, look, man, I don't want to just be funny. Mm-hmm. I got to have something to say. That's all I ask for, some room, some latitude to, 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 no, I'm the oldest cat on the show. Mm-hmm. Well, even I did Different World, I was only like 30-something, but I was the oldest person on the show. See, I was able to be funny. We still dealt with date rape and light skin, dark skin. I was all always saying something. It just I just want to be funny. Yeah, I and say like, something. Yeah let, me, yeah, let me say something. And what you gonna, uh, and what's the what's the message in uh, Lil Rel's show? The message is he's he's in Chicago. He's keeping the grid of Chicago. They dealt, he's man. He's on we, the west side. Dude, they just had an episode <laughs> that's so deep with a, uh, Gangbangers taking over the laundry room, what? and they just try and go down there and get the laundry and dealing with. And they kept gang, that funny. Gangbangers taking over the laundry room. Good the time. Dude, they, 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 they were able to keep it real. Yeah, had, had Vic Mensa made some and funny. Keep and, it, and keep it real and funny, huh? They kept it real and funny, man. That's great. Yeah, that is because so our life is real and funny. Yeah, like saying, man, man, I was trying to get out this place. None of them bruised the brothers got me hemmed up. You no, know, we laugh <laughs> about it, but it ain't funny about being in a, in, a, in a house at a party and they're like, oh man, they just walked in. I remember climbing out a kitchen window. <laughs> Some 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 brothers uh, <laughs> from my home. I said, "Oh no, they about to shoot somebody up in here." Mm-hmm. I went to the kitchen. I, I'm talking to, them, "Hey, how you doing? Hey, is that window open? Oh, yeah, I climbed out the window." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you know Sinbad? Uh, this is Sherry Shepherd. When we lived in Chicago, it was so bad we came out to go to church. I was a little girl, wow. and it was gang members sitting on my daddy's Cadillac. Mm. Hey, we deal with that on the show. Yeah, and made that funny. Yeah, man, and them sit, sitting on your—I mean, that's what they do. Sitting on your they, car. And they throw dice on your car. Absolutely. One of one of them had a blanket on my car. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, wow. man, I said, could you make sure nobody no break into it? All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and this that kind of respect. You just like you know, it's a it's a test. Being black is a test. It's a test every day. It's a test every yeah. day. So you know, and now we're being tested by uh, the uh, the man who would be king. Oh my gosh! Yeah, man. So, who do you think is the is the the mole inside? It, it part was, of the it resistance? Was me. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I, it was you. Okay. They're gonna find out. They're gonna find out. <laughs> you snuck in, man. You, man, you I, use your lightness to dude, sneak dude, in. Dude, I had my white voice like this. I hey, I got the daily reports. <laughs> and I, had, I wore a white wig. <laughs> and all you gotta do is act like you're loyal to him. You're the man. Oh my God, you're the man. <laughs> You're they didn't so know. smart. Are you so recording smart. everything? You're recording? Man, I recorded with the phone right in my hand. It's Trump. You ain't gonna hide it. <laughs> it, it was like busting Mayor Barry, just walking around with a film crew. <laughs> Could you speak closer to the mic? <laughs> How do you make a marriage work when you've divorced and you go back? 16 years. I gotta know. Well, okay, I'll tell you. What did you, you know do what, differently? You know what it is? Don't give her advice. She's you, not, she can't go back. I'm not going back, but. Okay. How long have you, you been divorced? Uh, j- about four years, five years. Because you know, it, takes, it takes long enough for you not to be angry no more. And it took 12 years, yeah. It was 12 years. And now, is that 12 years out of court? No court returns? No. no I was thinking is, when we divorced, I moved 15 minutes away, though, because I said, most men get divorced, try to get a man cave. I said, they need another word for it because you're not single. You're, you're, you got, when you got kids, if you got no yeah. kids, you just it's like a bad date. But if you got, <laughs> yeah, it's just a bad date. But when you got children, you're bonded to this person for yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, you know, we're not going to let the kids suffer. So I, if my kids want to stay with me, they want to stay with you. We're 15 minutes away from each other. And we always went to the games together. And after a while, it just worked. It got relaxed. My, my ex, you know, actually got married during that period of time. Right. Wow. And I said, what? I'm never getting married again. I said, and she thought it was just mad at her. I said, I'm never. Because I don't think I'm, I was that time built to be married. I got ADHD. I get tired of explaining to people, you know, why I talk quick and why I can't pay attention. I got tired of, you don't pay attention to me. I said, you got to talk in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That ain't me. That ain't me. 30 seconds. Kim is Sit a female. Yeah. Yes, Kim, Kim got the same Rail issue. show. Coming same up on Sunday. Kim got it. <laughs> got to be there. Oh, oh, Huggy oh, Next, oh, 26 past the hour.